Hey, what's up, fam? From Hero Machine's Twitter, his official Twitter, the first images from the uh, Fairy Tale sequel have been put out. I'm also going to read what exactly he, uh, what exactly he said from uh, the tweet. But uh, the picture we just get, uh, Laxus kind of, you know, looking a little bit intimidating. Gildarts looking like he's challenging Natsu to. Uh, drink off, maybe Laxus is involved in that, not to kind of, you know, giving his smirk. All the dialogue, though, is, uh, has been taken out. But the, the translation that I was able to get from Hiram's Jim's tweet says, The production of the Fairy Tale spinoff is also smooth, the quality. Uh, the name is me, the drawing is in charge by Mr. Atsuo Ida. I don't know how to pronounce the name. Should be quite content to satisfy the fans. So obviously he's saying that the... Uh, the the when he says like the name is me, but he he emphasizes the drawing of somebody else. I I think that's just by what it actually says. What he's trying to say, and not the not the terrible Google Translator, is that he's doing the story and the writing, but somebody else is uh, doing the artwork. I'm gonna look up who this guy is really quick. This that's what Udo. I don't know how to pronounce his name. And see what he's done. Um. Miss Doctor Prisoner and and Retriever Hachi. I don't know what those are. I don't think I've ever read those, but I don't know. I, I think it'll be good. I mean, I'm excited. This was just a a really quick video on 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 the little update. It was just a it was really short and brief, so this is gonna be like a, um a two minute video. But I am excited to see where this goes. I was hoping for something like uh, Echnologia's backstory, but if it's not going to be in the spinoff, I'm, I'm fairly certain it'll be put in the anime. So as for those who don't know, um, at a con, when Hiromishima was talking about how he's going to be in a big part of the uh, the anime's next season, somebody asked him if there was going to be content that wasn't in the manga and the anime, and he, he smirked and said no comment, which um, I think anybody can... Uh, see that and, and understand like yeah there's going to be a bunch of stuff that wasn't in the anime we're going to get or wasn't in the manga we're going to get and hopefully one of those is Akin Loki's backstory because he, he talked about how he was upset he couldn't put that in the manga I have, I have a whole video about that so just check that out and see what I mean but I am looking forward to the spinoff and the sequel uh, there was a you know a really good picture of uh, that he put out of like Natsu trying to hand off the baton to Shiki and Shiki kind of broke it and handed it to Natsu and they both were kind of walking down the or like more sprinting down the uh, you know the main character pathway with it so he was instead of trying to say like you're the main character now it's weird the main characters now they're both gonna get their own series and also that that kind of leads into my uh, my whole theory about the Mishima verse so check that out as well if you want to know what I mean by that, but I'm going to wrap this video up. It's at three minutes. There wasn't really much to talk about. It was just kind of looking at these three panels. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. It's going to be a lot of fun seeing the seeing the characters again, seeing um, uh, what takes place after after the you know they save the world from Acnologia and to see you know what troubles could come next and uh, what's where the story could go next. So anyway, uh, check out my other videos, like, favorite, subscribe, drop some comments, tell me what you would like to see out of the spinoff. Uh, I really want to see, like, Natsu as an adult, like, in his prime, like, how powerful he is, and, like, uh, what kind of threats that, what kind of threats show up to the world after what they had. Kind of like how you see in, uh, in, in Naruto, how uh, all these other members of, uh, Kagi's clan kind of show up, you know. Maybe there's something in, um, in the world, people that were uh, kind of in the hiding, doing their own evil things, because Acnologia was um, Acnologia was a, a big threat. And now he's gone. And they're coming out of hiding, or like you know, dragons are coming out of hiding now that Acnologia is not around. You know, something, something like that, something really cool. But it's just, it's just me kind of like theorizing and rambling on. Anyway, uh, yeah, like I said, like, forget to subscribe, check out my other videos, drop some comments, give it a thumbs up. And thank you very much. Bye.